Hello, Western Civilization 105 class. Welcome to week three. Um, so as you see, we are moving along very quickly. And um, we do have a lot of work, as you know. Uh, many of you are keeping up. Some of you are communicating with me as you get kind of gummed up or, have, or you find yourself having difficulties. That is always the answer. So please make sure you contact me. Um, if you need anything, I'll be available tomorrow between 11 a.m. and 5 p.m. Uh, so you can call me, text me, or write, and I'll get back to you. But 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. tomorrow, okay? Uh, that is Monday. Um, so um, a few things I mentioned just about this week's uh, workload. You'll notice that there's no discussion, but we do have a big paper on definitions, and then you have the exam uh, papers, which is a little bit more. Essentially, what I want you to keep in mind is if you have been getting full points for the papers, just basically do what you've been doing for the papers um, normally, and you just, you're going to be writing a little bit more this week. Okay, You've already pretty much understood what you need to do. Um, if you're still struggling with figuring out what I need uh, to, to see for your writing, and you're not getting full points then you want to get a hold of me tomorrow immediately or you can write me a message on canvas and tell me what you're going through and then i can we can get to each other tomorrow okay so make sure you just uh, that we do that because um uh, yeah it's just mainly a lot of work but but you're but i would what i want you to to notice you are not having quizzes that have memorization being required and the exam does not have uh any memorization uh, to be required. You simply have to put in the work, okay? So um, basically, I'm. It, it's, it's an extension of the Sunday papers, but just more to be done. And then I have the definition paper. And there's a lot of words, and it's all covered in the notes. I really highly encourage you to first take a close look at what um, about the, defini uh, the definition uh, uh, paper assignment and then try to write notes that answer um, what those things are classic liberalism conservatism uh, uh, you know communism and, and anarchism and then you can use those notes to then um, make your paper and I always want to encourage you to do that even for your Sunday papers is is Look at what's being um, asked first so that you can get the answers, you know, for yourself while you're going through listening to the videos. Um, I know some of you just like to listen to um, maybe the first few minutes of the videos. You just write down uh, some notes and maybe you don't listen to it all the way. In the case, I won't, you should never do that, but I mean, if I don't catch you, I don't catch you. It's your education, right? But I just want to let you know, for the definitions and understanding these terms, um, you better at least understand what they are. If you're kind, if you're trying to cut corners, and you don't really understand what you're writing, I'm gonna see that, and we and you will. I may, I'm not sure how I'm gonna grade it, but I might actually reach out to you and tell you we need to have a conversation before I grade it. I want to make sure you actually understand what these terms are. So. Um, don't be too paranoid about that. Just, just do the work. Try, you know, you know, I, I usually can tell when somebody has looked over material, tried their best and put it out there as opposed to when you're writing about something and you clearly don't know what it is you're writing about and you're hoping that it makes sense. I can usually catch on to that. So make sure that you, 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 you just you have some strong idea. If you have the textbook, then all of these terms should be in the textbook also. And so you can utilize that and that's really going to help along with the, the uh, you know, video uh, videos and then all of that. So um, hopefully you'll just find that interesting because as I mentioned, what you, these terms get thrown around so much, you know, li uh, liberal, uh, conservative, uh, socialism, you know, anarchism. 
Later on, another word that gets used a lot where a lot of people don't know how to define it, it's fascism. And but we're we're going to deal with that later, okay? And what I want to point out to you, which is important, um, and we'll go over that more later. There's some debates in the United States about whether or not uh, fascism and the Nazis come out of a left wing tradition or a right wing. Some of you may not care about this topic at all. For others, it's a big concern. Historically, I'll just tell you now, and then we'll cover it more later. Historically. Many of the, uh, uh, the, the far right started off in the far left, and then they moved to the far right. That doesn't mean they're, far, doesn't mean they're the same thing. And this is, a, this is a, a manipulation of history that's been happening in some uh, political circles in the United States. And, and you're actually going to hear me mention this again because I really want to actually resolve this because I see so much stuff on the Internet. So let me give you an example. I have a friend that was a Bernie supporter. I knew him my whole life, and then he switched to a Trump, being a Trump supporter. I've known some Trump supporters in the past that switched over to a Bernie. They're a very different set of politics. Where they're similar is that they're anti-establishment or they're outside of the normal grid of normal Democratic and Republican uh, party politics. Um, it doesn't mean that they're the same thing, and in some cases they're very different. But but we can kind of see how why some people would actually bounce from one of those to the others. It does not mean that they're the same thing. So I guess what I'm telling you later on, I will show you empirically that fascism and Nazism comes from the political right. Um, but most of those thinkers did uh, uh, spend time as as leftists as well. And um, if you look at this history, you'll see that also uh, some from one side went to the other. Um, but I'm more than happy to talk all that, you know, feel free to contact me anytime you, you see me cover a topic that interests you. And you, if you didn't get a satisfying enough answer to even like what I'm covering here in so many of these videos, please contact me and challenge me. Feel free to challenge me because some of you really get into this kind of subject matter and it's very polarizing. And maybe you think that I have too much of an agenda one way. Well, well, test that out. Let's see what I can pull up for you. Let, let's see what you got. Um, we're here to get an education and, and uh, learn. And um, I'm more than happy to uh, participate in that uh, with you. So um, that's all I have to say for now. I want you to keep hanging in there. It's hard. Why are we already in week three having an exam? Because remember, every week is like, um, oops, sorry, every week. We're basically doing th almost three weeks of work. We're doing an entire semester in one month. So that's why we're already in the exam. That's why we got to just keep going. Okay. So hang in there. Take care of yourself. Keep in contact with me if you need anything. And uh, wish you all the best. We'll be in touch.